What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another pretty low-key video. I love this website of these tier list. If you're not familiar, this website has a ton of different tiers you can pretty much um, rank best from worst. It can be either you know sports or um, characters, movies, music, snacks, cereal, you name it. This website allows you to not only make your own tier list, but also use the pre-existing ones to um, for you to do as well. And obviously, as you can see, I picked a Cartoon Network Show's tier list. And as a 90s kid, this is very appealing to me because a lot of these shows, most of these shows, I not only grew up with, but I also watched on a regular basis. Some more than others, but... That's why I'm doing this video. I'm going to rank. And obviously these aren't all the Cartoon Network shows. But I am going to rank these. Uh, the ones that they do have for me right here. So anyway, let's start with the first show, Adventure Time. I remember this show coming up when I was getting a little bit older. I was, in terms of age, I was exiting out of that age where um, I would watch TV shows a lot as a kid. But I have to... I have to respect Adventure Time, even though it wasn't my pers one of my personal favorite shows. Um, I know it lasted a few seasons. Um, I had a bunch of I knew a bunch of friends who loved the show. Um, I also enjoyed it time to time, but I didn't really follow it. I was more of a casual watcher. Um, of course, if you do like this show, then you're probably screaming at screaming at me right now, uh, mentally and internally. But uh, I have to I have to put this show at at B, just because, like I said, I personally didn't watch it like that, but I was aware of how good it was, so I have to put it at least at B there. Next show, and I honestly don't know what this one is, the Barb, is this the Berenstain Bears? I actually don't know. I don't know, so I'm going to put haven't seen uh, Bear Bears. Yeah, sorry, that, that crop is a little weird. I feel like I'm missing a few litters there. All right. Ben 10. <laughs> I got to put this at SS super, super tier. Listen, I was probably the biggest, big, big, biggest uh, Ben 10 fan as a kid. Um, man, I, I watched all iterations of that show, except obviously like the newest cart, the newest ones. Uh, but I was a huge Ben 10 fan. I love the original version of when he was a kid, you know, 10 years old. I love, I love to play on the name too. Ben 10, 10 years old, 10 aliens. Perfect. I loved everything about the show, um, him being able to turn into pretty much any alien, and then progressively as the show went on, he was able to collect more aliens, and it got to a point where, you know, an ultimate alien, he, uh, he was able to turn pretty much into anything he wanted to, and then one of my favorite shows or episodes was when, I think it was in the, the, the first series, where he went into the future and met himself. And there was like, I think it was called Ben 10,000 because he got to turn into 10,000 aliens. And then Kevin 11,000 is this arch enemy. It was just awesome. I, I could go on and on about this show. Alien Force 2 was pretty solid. Even watching though, even watching Alien Force as an adult, it still holds up. The writing, the storytelling, it's still very intriguing. So I have to put Ben, ben 10 at the highest tier here. Like I said, I could make ten thousand. I ten thousand. I could make ten Ben Ten videos, man. It, it's just uh, one of my favorite shows of all time. Uh, Billy and Mandy. I kind of with same with Adventure Time. I didn't really watch this show, but I knew um, I knew it was like solid. Um, it, it was around for a, a minute here, but I just I never seen it, so I have to put it at C. Um, or I should say I have seen it, but I just didn't watch it um, as much. Chowder, another solid show. You have to put this at S. Um, the humor was top notch. Honestly, looking back, the humor was way ahead of its time. It was it was a lot of dry. Um, I don't want to say adult humor, but it was very mature, dry humor, and not mature as in inappropriate, but mature as in, you know, oh, it comes to you like ten seconds later, right? The the animation was also very creative too. So I have to put Chowder at S there. Another one of my most favorite shows, Clarence. I never seen it, so I have to put it at the bottom here. Cow and Chicken. I really would. 
I've, I used, I tried watching this show. I just couldn't get into it. It just wasn't funny to me. So I have to put it at D here. Dexter's Laboratory. How do you not put this at S? At least for me personally, Dexter's Laboratory is up there with um, Johnny Bravo. Um, I'm blanking on the, the Ninja one. It, it's up there with those classics, you know, early, really early 2000s raw um, Cartoon Network shows. Um, how do you not like Dexter's Laboratory? I mean, yeah, not, enough said. S tier. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I'm sorry, guys. I got to put this at B. I just, I couldn't get into it. I think it was too stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was just a very smart child. Nah, I definitely wasn't. But I, I just couldn't get into Ed and Ed and Eddie. Um, yeah, leave this at B here. Uh, what's this? Is this, uh, No Way? Is this what I think it is? Flapjack. I hated this show. I hated this. Absolutely hated this show. First of all, the anim, 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 the yeah, animation was just terrible. I didn't. I was not a fan of the animation at all. And this is one of the shows where they were trying to experiment um, with their kid shows, and this obviously did not hit. I don't care. I don't know how long it was around, but I didn't like any anything about the show. The characters, the humor, how it looked, nothing appealed to me at all. I have to put this at D. Sorry. Frost is home for imaginary friends. Another. Oh, this is. Hard because I want to put it at SS, but it didn't. There weren't that many seasons. Like, am I tripping? Or I only remember it being around for just like two or three years, which for a really good kids show is pretty short. But Foster's, I mean, Blue, I forgot the kid's name. <laughs> Honestly, I just remember Blue. But what a funny character. I mean, at least for me, Blue has to be a top 10 char animated character of all time. Like, he's up there with SpongeBob. Um, just super funny, super, <laughs> Blue was super, um, mean, and that's the nicest way to put it, he, he was just, he didn't have a heart, right, and I think back then, if, to have a character like that, who was pretty off the cup, you know, pretty rough around the edges, was pretty unique to have, and, um, uh, I think that, that appealed to a lot of kids, especially me growing up, um, you know what, screw it, I'm putting it in SS, this show is just too good. I have to revisit it. I actually haven't seen it in a minute here. The Amazing World of Gumball, another show that I knew was good, but I just didn't really watch it. Guys, there were a lot. There were a lot of shows back then. I just couldn't watch any, you know, everything under the sun. So I'll put it at B here. You know, I, I do remember a lot of seeing a lot of commercials for it, toys and, and ads. So I knew it was out there. Obviously, you know, with these shows, you know, the more seasons they get, probably means it's doing pretty good. So. I have to put Gumball there. Johnny Bravo, solid one. I have to put this at A. Um, wasn't the biggest fan, but I, this was, um, I think this was late 90s, early 2000s. So I was pretty, I was just uh, getting, you know, getting my conscious around that time. <laughs> but I did watch some of the, show, the episodes. I, it just wasn't, it, it didn't hold a special place in my heart. Uh, oh, Kids Next Door, another really good show. Um, this is up there with like Rocket Power, in, in my opinion. Um, even though Rocket Power was Nickelodeon, I had to put it at A as well. Um, I did watch a, a few episodes. I didn't really keep up with it. You know, growing up, I actually didn't have cable. Um, so I had to revert to watching it online on the Cartoon Network website. Um, but yeah, I really have nothing bad or bad to say about this show. It was solid the times I did see it. it lasted a long time. You, I think A is appropriate. Camp Blaslow. I used to like this show a lot as a kid. I really did. But the older I got, the, realized, the more I realized how stupid it was. And it didn't make any sense. Animation was also decent, but I have to put this at C. Um, there's a reason this show didn't last that long. I remember looking back, I think it... I want to say it did. I only lasted one or two seasons. But no, it was pretty mid-show. mid, mid show. It didn't really stand out. Um, I didn't see Let's Be Heroes, never saw that one. Powerpuff Girls, listen, I, I was a, still a dude, but <laughs> I was, little boys didn't watch Powerpuff Girls, okay? So, I had to put it, I haven't seen. It's a good, I'm not gonna lie though, it's a good show. It, it, it's a good show, I mean, um, it, it, it just wasn't for me. <laughs> That's all I have to say, like, I didn't watch it. Regular show, no, oh, this has to be SS. Regular show, Ah, I, I wanted to watch more episodes as a kid, but like I said, I didn't have cable. And regular show was also pretty similar to Foster's, even though Foster's came out first. 
regular show's humor was very dark for a kid's show. It was very raunchy. I think originally it was actually supposed to be an adult show on like Adult Swim or HBO. But then they changed it into a kid's show. And the humor is really good. It's honestly funny. And the humor, it it, it still checks out even um, after all these these years. So it's up there with um, Foster's and Ben 10. Samurai Jack, that's the ninja show I was thinking about. I I had to put this at Bravo. To me, Samurai Jack and Johnny Bravo are are on the same level. Um, Really didn't watch that many episodes. The animation, though, I I will have to say the animation was way ahead of its time. Um, And, uh, you know, it's an action show, too. So, like, as a a little boy growing up, how am I not going to like it? So, it's a solid show. It, it, It deserves to be an A. Steven Universe, never seen it. Nothing to say about that. Teen Titans Go. Also never seen it because this show came out (laughs) when I was like in high school. So yeah, no no opinion there. Teen Titans. Oh my gosh. I'm not about to put this in SS and I will. What is there to say? I what is there not to say about Teen Titans? Oh my gosh. One of the best animated I don't know if you could call it a kid's show. Like technically it was a kid's show. But anyone who has ever seen Teen Titans knows that this show was for all ages. I mean, golly, there were some sh- some episodes that were super dark. Episodes where where Robert almost died, like just getting getting beat to death by um by Scar. Um, the, the the biggest the only thing I have to say about Teen Titans really, it hasn't already been said, is that you know we we just needed more seasons. I think it only lasted four four seasons and. Um, that last episode left us on a huge cliffhanger with Tara. I still remember her name. Uh, with Tara supposedly coming back to life. And after that, they just stopped making episodes. So it was pretty sad to see. But man, those Teen Titans episodes were so good. Um, and you know when epi- shows are still good if you can watch them you know, years later and they still are entertaining. And that's what Teen Titans is. Um, if you haven't checked it out, I, I don't care how old you are. Go watch Teen Titans. That's... Uh, it's honestly it's really good animated like superhero um um content um uncle grandpa i've never seen it cool so that's my list here i I think it's pretty decent i mean you could argue you have too 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 many shows in the double s tier super super tier chowder yep dexter's laboratory that that sounds right like i said jack and johnny bravo are pretty much the same to me kids next door yep Adventure Time, like these three shows, I just I I never got into, but you know I was aware that they were pretty good. So B, uh, Camp Laszlo, Billy and Mandy, yep, checks out. Cow and Chicken, um, you know what? I, Cow and Chicken wasn't as bad as Flapjack, so I, I'll move Cow and Chicken up to C, and then obviously Flapjack, the my my least favorite show ever. Got to put this at D. And yeah, haven't seen. Cool. So those are my uh, my Cartoon Network shows tier list. Uh, let me know if you agree, disagree. Either way, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.